Hi, I'm Ifis Alaudin. In this lesson, we are going to look into how to describe a picture. When you practice describing a picture, it can help you to increase your communication skills. It is a popular method to test on how well you can use the language and how wide your vocabulary list is. Moreover, describing a picture is one of the tasks carried out during your speaking skill assessment. So, this makes it important for you to learn how to describe a picture well. Therefore, let's look at the ways on how you can describe a picture effectively using detailed language. A good way to start your description is by giving a general idea of what you can see in the picture. Look carefully at the picture for a moment before you start speaking. Next, you should imagine that the person you are talking to can't see the picture. It is you who is going to give a proper description of the picture to let the other person know and understand what's in the picture without looking at it. Then, decide what is the general content of the picture and begin speaking with that. So how can you do that? That is a good question. Let's do an example. Look at this picture. We shall start describing by telling the general idea of the picture using one or two simple sentences. Here, you could say, I can see six people playing at the beach. Or, A family is enjoying themselves playing at the beach. That's not difficult at all, right? Let's try another one. Look at it carefully. What can you say about this picture? Here are some possible answers. The picture shows a girl at the park having a picnic. The girl has prepared many kinds of food for the picnic. Now, you try this yourself at home. What can you say about this picture? Look at the whole picture carefully first before you begin. And remember, to begin with the general idea of the picture. Here are some useful language that you can use. There are. There's. I can see. In the picture. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. At this stage, you are going to start adding more details to your description. How do you do that? 
easy. Using adjective like red, big, delicious and new is the easiest way to add details to your description. Other than that, it would be a good idea for you to learn more phrases that show where people or things are at. Look at the diagram. You can use these to say where things are in the picture. Let's look at this picture again. What can you say about the picture now? Let's use the phrases we've just learned. You can say, The girl on the right is scooping some sand into the pail. The girl wearing the striped t-shirt on the left is playing with her brother. Do you notice how this simple addition makes your description clearer? I know you are eager to do something more. So let's make our sentences longer by using these expressions to our description. You can use in the background, in the foreground, he or she is next to, beside, they look, we will use this picture again. In the background, there is a magnificent view of the KLCC. In the foreground, the yellow blanket is almost covered with a variety of delicious food. See how much difference it makes when you add relevant details to your description. This detailed description helps the listener to visualize what you see in the picture. Has these tips helped you so far? I certainly hope so because I have more interesting practices to share with you. Once again, I want to remind you to spend a bit of time to look at the picture. Then, carefully look up for the information pieces that answer these WH questions. Who? When, what, where, and why. At times, if you are stuck for ideas and you are not sure of what to say, use this method. Just look for details that answer these questions. It will be of a great help. Let's look at the examples I have prepared for you. In this picture, find out the details that answer the question, who? Firstly, you can say there are two girls who are probably best friends in this picture. They also look like teenagers. Then, you could also mention that there are high school students and you make this conclusion based on their size. Then, judging from what they are wearing, they could be classmates 
who have just finished their physical education class. Look at the next picture. If you look carefully, there are many details that could answer the question, when? Here are some examples. Because there's cake, you could conclude that this photo is taken during a birthday party. Eight birthday party, in fact. Since it's looking sunny and bright, the party could have been held in the afternoon and during a weekend. And most probably, the party is planned on the day where most guests are free to come. Oh, what are the elderly lady and young girl doing in this picture? Look at how both of them are smiling and looking relaxed. Here, you could say that they are having a conversation. What is their relationship? You could also possibly say that the granddaughter is learning to bake muffins from her grandmother. Most likely, they are spending precious time together. Or you can give details on what kind of items can be found in the picture. Hmm. You might add about the kitchen cabinet. The kitchen looks neat with its white theme kitchen cabinet. Or you might say that the white dough mixer is brand new. Let's continue with the next picture. Look at how colorful it is. Find details that tell you where this place might be. Let's see. There are stalls and different people selling all kinds of things openly. This place could pass as a night market. Apart from that, you can mention about the yellow stalls in which are set up in front of the shops. This also could probably be Damon Street. Why not? Last but not least, we are looking at information that answers the question, why? This is a lovely picture showing two generations spending time together. Most probably, they are father and son. We can also see there is a bridge and a wheelchair. The elderly man is sitting in a wheelchair. Why is that? It is probably because he had a bad fall at his house and the doctor has advised him to use the wheelchair to move around. Next, you could ask why are they both laughing? Most possibly, they are looking at someone doing something funny at the end of the bridge. 
and you can simply say that the young man loves his father very much. That is why he helps to push him in the wheelchair. There are just so many possible answers to all these questions. How are you feeling now? Do you feel more confident to use the language to describe a picture? I bet you are. When you are looking at a picture, you will see a lot of actions that are actually going on in it. So, you can use the present continuous to say what is happening in the picture. The present continuous is formed like this. Subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ing. For example, he is pushing his ill father on the new wheelchair. The happy children are waving at their mother. Koi fish are swimming in the clear pond. You can try this by practicing using this picture. In the speaking skill exams, each candidate will be given a certain time to talk. Once you are given your task, look at the picture. Take a few moments to think and talk. Talk for all the time you have been given. Try not to stop before the assessor tells you that your time is up. Learn to notice little details in each picture. Talk about them. This gives you better opportunity to use the language more. You will also give more detail and longer information. If you only talk about one or two things from the picture, you would definitely lose the chance to use the language. Therefore, affecting your marks in the assessment. So, what you need to do now is practice, practice, and practice. And that's just what we are going to do right away. Here's a picture with two men. This time, let's try and give a longer and more detailed information when talking about the picture. Add some possibilities that you can make up from looking at the picture. This will make your description becomes more interesting. Here's a sample answer. In this picture, there are two men at the bus stop. It is raining. The man on the right is looking very smart in his black coat. In fact, he is also using a black umbrella and carrying a black bag with a black gloved hands. Most probably, he is a serious kind of person. On the left is a man wearing an interesting combination of dark grey jacket and a pair of green pants. 
He has a scarf around his neck and wears a beanie to cover his head. In the foreground, there is a beautiful building. There's a chandelier in it. It's switched on, so most probably, the time is almost late evening. This is an interesting picture because even though the two men are almost similar in height, you can see that they are totally opposite in other ways. The man on the left looks more relaxed and in comparison, the man in black looks anxious waiting for the bus. From their appearance, I believe that the man in black is working in the bank and the man in the green pants is working with a designing company. Let me ask you, what do you need to remember when describing a picture? First, you begin by giving a general idea of the picture. Then, you can continue with adding more details by telling where everything is. Use WH questions to assist you to look for more details. And build up the description by adding some possible ideas because it helps to make the story more exciting. Use present progressive tense to talk about what is happening. Use adjective to describe people and things. Talk for as long as you are supposed to talk. Don't panic. It's okay if you cannot remember certain words to describe an item. Just explain it in your own words or just find something else in the picture to talk about. Please, don't get distracted and talk about what's not relevant to the picture. this happens, stop talking, look at the picture and begin again. We have gone through all the tips that we have learned today to describe a picture effectively. Let's describe one more picture just to check on your progress. In this picture, there is a fluffy cat with black and brown spots on it. It is big. Maybe it is an old cat. On the left is a boy wearing denim pants and bright blue sweatshirt. He is the owner of the cute cat. He is always happy when playing with his pet. The cat doesn't seem to mind and he looks tame too has been in the family for eight years now. The boy chooses to play outside today because the weather is warm, bright and sunny with clear blue skies. Most likely, it won't rain that day. In the foreground, there are patches of white clouds that look like cotton balls. It must be quite windy too, because they are sitting at the bank near the sea. The sea water is moving in ripples. It is a beautiful sight. Are you happy with your description? Has it improved? Be willing to try and make mistakes. After all, that's the best way to learn. So, 
Keep on practicing. Don't give up. Goodbye.